Alright everyone, welcome back to here. I was on I was watching a video the other day from a YouTube friend of mine, Samuel Master 500, Eric, and he was doing a video about um <coughs> handcuffs, improvised handcuffs and that. And he already knew this technique, but he didn't have I assume he didn't have anything to show it, so I said if you want me to make a video response about the idea that I've got, everyone knows this anyway, but what is a good improvised handcuffs, you know, a way of imprisoning someone. And he said, yeah, so I thought I'd talk about chains. The chains are very good handcuffs, you know, probably been using them for hundreds of years, but you can make really good improvised handcuffs from chains, or anything to be honest. You know, they don't have to be handcuffs. You imagine if that chain was longer. You could do one on each hand. But that's all it takes is a chain and padlock. Seeing if you've got long enough chains and padlocks, you could wrap them round someone's waist. I'm just gonna add another padlock onto this so I can do it. <coughs> I've only got that short chain this one. See this one you could put it round someone's waist. Not get to see this, so I'll try and do it under my armpits. But you chain someone up like that, and you've also got other combinations with more padlocks. You can start putting chains over there, over that way. You can also put them on people's ankles. Yeah, a simple chain and padlock, as good as any set of handcuffs. You know, you're never going to get out of that. You imagine if that chain was longer, you could wrap it around the other hand, or just chain that onto any sort of, you know, bars or, you know, post. Put the hand behind their back doing it. You know, yeah, that's it basically. Chain and padlock. Probably the best improvised handcuffs you can get. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the video, it was a nice little short one. See you later.